Good morning everyone, how are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now today I am in Hendon Cemetery in London and we have come to find the final resting place of Lindsay DePaul. Um, now I don't know if you remember her, she's an amazing singer, composer, actress, beautiful lady, very talented. Um, went out with so many celebrities as well, dated so many, so many um, celebrity men as well. So, but a real intelligent, bright um, woman. And wow, she had, she had so much history. I can only obviously go into part of it, like I do with all my videos. I don't tell you everyone's full life story. Otherwise I would be here all day and night. However, I tried to take snippets of that person's life story to give you some information. Anyway, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming along. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Um, the regular viewers, hopefully, will tell you it's good fun. And um, we get to hear about some great history of some different people and of course hit that notification bell as well because that will alert you when the next video is coming out too massive thank you as always to every single person that watches every single person that hits the thumbs up button every single member who's on the channel and every single person that donates you are all very very kind generous and i'm very very grateful so thank you so much um, and i like to think that we have a good time doing this we do it with compassion we do it with empathy um, there's a little bit of humour, of course, where I take the mickey out of myself. You guys will get used to that soon. If you're new, you'll understand. Go back and watch all my other videos um, and you'll see that when it comes to doing the part about the person I'm coming to see, it's serious. When it comes to taking the mickey out of me, fill your boots. No, don't, don't. Be kind, be nice, remember? Okay, let's get on with it, shall you? I'm going to tell you a little bit more information now about Lindsay DePaul. Lindsay DePaul, born Lindsay Monkton Rubin, 11th June 1948 to the 1st of October 2014, was an English singer, songwriter and producer. After initially writing hits for others, she had her own chart hits in the UK and Europe in the 1970s, starting with UK top 10 single Sugar Me and become the first British female artist to achieve a number one with a South Britain song in 1972 in Belgium, Spain and the Netherlands. She represented the UK in the 1977 Eurovision Song Contest, scoring another chart-topping hit in Switzerland and had a successful career as a two-time Ivan Novelli award-winning composer, record producer, actress and television celebrity. Lindsay Monkton Rubin was born to Meta Nie de Groot and Herbert Rubin, a property developer. They were a Jewish family with a Dutch, Austrian and German background and had one other child, John, born in 1944. She studied classical music with a tutor from the Royal Academy of Music. She attended South Hampstead High School, followed by Hornsey College of Art, now part of Middlesex University. DePaul later claimed that she and her brother suffered physical abuse at the hands of their father. In one incident, as a student, age 19, DePaul was concussed for two days, following a fight with her violent father, promoting her to leave her comfortable family home for a two-bedroom flat rented above an Indian restaurant near her college. Although she had recorded demo versions of her songs, DePaul was initially a reluctant performer. She wrote the song Sugar Me for Peter Noon, but her boyfriend at the time, Dudley Moore, absolute legend, suggested that she took a demo version to Gordon Mills, who urged her to record it herself and release it on his MAM record label. Explaining her change of name from Ruben, she said there had just been the massacre of Jewish athletes at the Munich Olympics and I was told that it would be better not to have an obvious Jewish name. For my stage name, I took D from my mother's maiden name, De Groot, and my father's middle name was Paul. Released as a single on the MAM Records label, Sugar Me rapidly reached the top 10 of the UK singles chart, as well as the top of the singles chart in the Netherlands, Spain, and Belgium. Rock Bottom, which she wrote with Mike Moran, originally for Blue Mink, was chosen as the UK entry in the Eurovision Song Contest 1977 and released on Polydor. 
The duo also wrote and performed the B-side, The Amusing You Shouldn't Say That. DePaul made history by being the first female to perform her own composition at the Eurovision Song Contest. As she later explained, as well as being the honour of taking part in Eurovision, it was a way to circumvent the legal wrangles signing to a new record label. Although it was the favourite to win, it came second in the Eurovision Song Contest and went on to become a top 20 hit in many European countries, including France, Germany, Austria and Switzerland, where it reached the top of their singles chart. It was the 15th best-selling single of 1977 in Switzerland and the 32nd best-selling single to Germany. DePaul never married. She was romantically involved with Dudley Moore, Chaz Chandler, Roy Wood, Ringo Starr, James Coburn, Bill Kenwright, Dodie Fired, George Best, Bernie Tolpin and Dave Frost. She received five marriage proposals, one of them from Chandler and another from Coburn. She also had an affair with Sean Connery, which she later regretted and claimed to be horrified after discovering comments from Connery had made in interviews in which he suggested it was acceptable to hit women. DePaul later stated that Connery's remarks and her upbringing with a violent father inspired her participation in campaigns to raise awareness against domestic violence and domestic abuse. In his autobiography, George Best said that DePaul was a fiercely independent woman. In 1977, in an interview with music journalist Barry Kane that appeared on Record Mirror, DePaul prophetically said, I guess I never got married. My first love will always be my music. DePaul suffered a brain hemorrhage on the morning of the 1st of October 2014 at her home in Mill Hill and was later pronounced dead at Barnet General Hospital. Her niece, Olivia Rubin, told the Times that her death was completely unexpected, adding she was a vegetarian, she didn't smoke, she didn't drink, she was amazing, in fact. Broadcaster and friend Esther Ranson, for whose television series Hearts of Gold DePaul had written the theme, said she was a Renaissance woman. She could do everything. She could sing, she could compose. She was immensely talented artist. She became a huge star, but she was also a loyal and generous friend. It's an absolute tragic loss. She was interred with a humanist funeral at Hendon Cemetery. The poor was listed on the official Grammy website under the Remembering Music People we lost in 2014 and 2015. So there you go, that's all the information there about Lindsay DePaul. What an amazing, amazing woman, like I said at the start. Um, very intelligent, very clever, and taken way too soon, you know, mid-60s. It's, um, it's such a shame, isn't it? And, you know, we see it so many times when we do these videos, don't we, people um, who lose their lives quite young. Now, I know non-celebrities obviously lose their lives young as well, which I'm completely respectful of. Of course they do. Um, but generally just brings it to light when we highlight certain things about certain people and so forth and it just makes you realize that you you know we haven't got long on this earth we have to make the most of it we have to have fun we have to be kind and we have to just enjoy life it's a gift if you wake up each day it's a gift enjoy it make the most of it you know if you're having a tough time if life's thrown pretty rubbish hand at you not every day is like that and you'll look back at your past and you'll go not every one of my days has been like that I've had good days so that goes to prove that good days can come back again wow look at this can you see that that's crazy um, yeah so just remember bad times are usually short-lived there is always light after darkness but you just have to persevere sometimes. You have to push through. Um, and whatever you decide to do with your life is your choice, okay? And that's the most important thing. Like I said, we're not here very long, so we really have to make the most of it. Anyway, let's go and find uh, Lindsay DePaul's grave, shall we? I think I found it. Lindsay DePaul, singer and songwriter, 1st of October 2014, age 66. And there's a little piano on there.
So there we have the final resting place of Lindsay DePaul, such a talented, talented lady. Um, bless you, Lindsay. Thank you for the great music you brought to us all and for coming second in the Eurovision, which very rarely happens for us. But um, such a well-respected and intelligent lady as well. And, uh, you know, bless you. So there we have it. Lindsay DePaul's final resting place. And she was a remarkable woman, you know, to have her own song written and then to enter the um, Eurovision as well. Uh, amazing. And such a beautiful lady as well. And it's a shame, you know, 66 to die of a hemorrhage. It's just like, goes to show, like I said earlier on, it can happen at any time to anyone. So we really must make the most of what we get each day. Anyway, if you like the video today, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, please leave a comment down below, of course, and hit that notification bell. Um, so you know when the next video is coming out. And I will leave you all, and I will see you all on the next one. Take it easy.